Welcome to Cursive Lesson 2. Today we're going to cover some more uphill letters with L, B, H, and K. Alright, hopefully you've watched our lesson 1 to continue on the things that we've learned. We have the L first. It's very similar to the E that we practiced last time. So we're going to start at the bottom, slant upwards, back flip down, but instead of going halfway, we're going to go all the way down and swoop out. Okay? You want to end your back flip to like intersect the slant about halfway through. Notice how it's going through that dotted line. So we want to slant way out, back flip, and try to connect right through that middle. Okay, go ahead and practice. These are our L's. Okay. Go ahead and circle your best one. I like this one. Okay, cursive L's. The next one is very similar to the style of the L, but we're gonna go back up to the middle and do a little boop out, and that is gonna be our lowercase b. All right, so we're gonna go from the bottom, slanting, back flipping down, and then we're gonna come slightly in and then boop out, okay? Then we go like this and boop out. Notice how this kind of looks like a lowercase b. Boop. Okay. Go ahead and circle your best one, the one you like most. This one. Case B. Okay, let's practice our L's and B's and some of our previous letters with some words. So the first one, let's go ahead and do some L's together and some B's together. So we're going to start with the L all the way to the top, back flipping down. It helps to almost go straight down in a way. If you're having trouble back flipping down, do another series of L's. Okay, and now some B's. So we're gonna go straight up to the top line, come in, and then when we boop to the middle line, we're gonna continue that up into our other B. So we're gonna continue up, come all the way down, boop out again, continue up, all the way down, and then finally boop out again, okay? Uphill. Do that boop, you're gonna come back down. And then boop out, okay? Let's go ahead to the word B with a big E. So when you're doing B, you're going to go into your lowercase b, and then when you boop out, you're going to make room to do a back flip into that E, okay? Let's practice the word bill. We're going to go into our B, I, straight down, back flip L, back flip L. Okay, and come back with your dot for your eye. Let's do it one more time. Okay, bill. Okay, we're gonna do two more words. We're gonna do little and blue. Okay. So for little, I always thought little was such a fun word to write in cursive because there's lots of loops. So we start with the lowercase l, up into the i, trace down, 
up into the T, make sure that you trace all the way back down, up into the T again, and then you're going to do a back flip for the L, and then a back flip for the little E, dot, slash, slash. Okay, let's do it one more time. Let's go ahead and do blue. Last one. Okay, so you're going to go up into your lowercase b, back flip down. For your little boop, you're going to go about halfway, but continue up into your back flip for the L, then go into your U. And finally back flip into your E. Make sure you give yourself plenty of room to do back flips. Sometimes I've noticed with students they'll cram it too close together and then their E's end up in their U's. So make sure you're being careful with how much space you're giving yourself. Now a lot of that comes with practice so don't feel bad if you can't get it the first time. Keep practicing, you'll get it. Okay, now we're ready for our H and K for lesson two. So, we're going to start with combining what looks like the beginnings of a backward backflip into an L, and then we're going to add something onto it. So go ahead and watch me do the H first, and then we'll try it together. So we're going to go up, slanting upwards, uphill, backflipping down. Try to go as straight as possible when you go down. Now we're going to trace back up to about the middle, come out, and then swoop up. That's our lowercase h. Okay, we're gonna back flip, come up, just like that. Okay, go ahead and try it with me. You're gonna slant up, back flip, straight down, trace up, and then make a little loop for the h. So you're slanting to the right, coming down, and then almost going straight. Okay, go ahead and circle your best H. I like this one. Good job. Okay, now we're going to try our K. Now K is very similar but it has a little twist, okay? So we're gonna go up into our backwards L, come straight down, we're gonna trace back up, but we're gonna make almost a little ribbon. So a little boop about halfway down that line, and then we're gonna trace it out and make it go out like that, okay? So watch me again. We're gonna go up into our backwards flip down, about halfway between the middle line and the bottom line, we're going to make a little loop and then trace that out and kind of do a little swooshing motion, okay? From the top, swooshing down to the bottom. A lot of my kids say this looks like an uppercase R if you take that away, okay? Go ahead and practice a few times. This is a challenging one for a lot of people, so don't worry if you can't get it on the first try. Just keep practicing, you'll get it. Okay, just like that. And then circle your favorite one. I think I'm going to go with this one. practice putting some of those letters together, a few H's together, a few K's together, and then doing some words. Here we go. We're going to start with the H's. We're going to come up, back flip down, straight down if you can, come up, trace, and then swoop out. Okay, so let's put those together. Go slow if you need to. Make sure you're touching that bottom line and trying to hit that top line. Okay. Maybe we'll 
one more. Okay. Now let's go ahead and try some K's put together. Remember, you're stopping making a loop, kind of like on a ribbon, or an uppercase R. Sometimes you make mistakes. That's what happens when I use a marker. <laughs> but I'm using it so you can see me do it a little better. And it's okay to make mistakes once in a while. Totally normal. There you go. Okay, some K is put together. Let's go ahead into our next word, which is hill. Gonna go up into our H, I, and backwards into our two L's. And come back for that I dot. Then we're gonna try hike. Going on a hike. Let's go ahead and do the word he using an E. So H and do our backflip E, just like that. And finally, we're gonna do wheel and the. So from the bottom, W, where we do our little boop, we're gonna go up into our H. And then backflip into our E's, and then big backflip for her L, her wheel, and then T H E for the. Okay. Alright, that concludes lesson two. Hope to see you for lesson three.